hours. Further south, we've got light winds and clear skies again tonight, so it's going to be another one of those uh, chilly nights. But let's start off by concentrating on the winds, because for a time this afternoon, they were touching 65 miles an hour across northern Scotland. And this evening, we can expect some gusty conditions as far south as North Wales and northern England. But as I said before, during tonight and tomorrow, those winds will gradually ease down but not before they brought some rain with them. And we're already beginning to see that rain arrive on the weather radar. You can see some rain pushing down across the northwest highlands, just coming down into northwestern parts of Northern Ireland. And that band of rain will continue to track southwards uh, overnight down across Scotland. Clearer showery weather coming along behind it. And by the end of the night, we'll find a band of cloud and rain lying from southern parts of Northern Ireland across to the borders of Scotland. To the south of that, the clear skies and the light winds, allowing temperatures to get low enough for a little bit of frost on the ground, perhaps even some mist and some fog in some of the dips and the hollows. Now, tomorrow, the weather system that's bringing the rain is going to weaken still further. It'll be a quite a dull start for southern parts of Northern Ireland and southern Scotland, but eventually the sun will break through during the afternoon. We'll find the thicker cloud moving into northern England, and it may bring a little bit of drizzly rain uh, from Cumbria around to Snowdonia, but I think the trend will be for that rain to fizzle out, and even the blustery showers up in the north of Scotland will die away. For southern parts of the country, it's going to be another fine autumn day with temperatures perhaps as high as 17 Celsius in some places. On to the weekend, high pressure takes over. So that thicker cloud across central areas will melt away. Any showers left in the far north of Scotland will melt away during Saturday as well. A lot of fine autumn weather around through the weekend. The only problem is we're going to see more in the way of mist and fog. And some of that mist and fog will be rather reluctant to clear away, lingering into the mornings, perhaps even lingering into the afternoons. And where it does that, it's going to feel rather cold. Whereas away from the fog, where there's some sunshine, it'll feel quite warm. That's the forecast. Bye-bye for now.